Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before I jump into the topics, I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Futa Hype defends Bojo Bantan after he exposes the government and the repercussions of their doing. Masika makes it clear that the album is done long time and also wants fans to support it when it comes out. Dexter Dapp's response to Bounty Killer saying he is the next global superstar from Jamaica. Rami sends message to Russian after losing his father. And Shakari Richards rejects the Jamaican vacation offer that was made to her. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Futa Hype defending Buju Bantan after he made a post basically exposing the government and their plans. You see me? Buju Bantan also speak on what's going to happen to the government if them go through with certain things. You see me? Now, a few hours ago, I actually spoke on Buju Bantan Zine and me I said, wait, some people say, why Buju Bantan uh, speak up for the kids them? Because of course, they know say them have what, 13 years and up kids that take the vaccine and them things. You see? Me. Now, of course, you have one and two dancehall artists who get vocal, like even Mr. G, aka Goofy. Him come out and actually make a video, a call out the government and things. You Otherwise, they say, you know, some regular people are say, yo, you know, we now make with kids take it and this and that and thing. Which to me is still. You know, they must know why them don't want them kids to take it and me can't really blame the people them for feel how them feel, is it me? But let's get to what Buju Bantan posted on his Instagram page. So him say, why are you hurting your people? With the question sign. What have they done to you? With the question sign. How much were you paid? With the question sign. Are you not aware of the global debts cause? With the question sign. Why are you holding nurse, teachers, workers, children, parents, the nation hostage against our will? Is it only big business that are essential? With the question sign, until you people stand on your feet, you shall forever be on your knees. Peace. So of course, Bojo Bantana make it clear, say you have to stand up for where you want, you have to fight for where you want. You understand what I say? And in a way, I agree, because I realize that this vaccine thing is like them say, if you not take it, you can't do this and you can't do that. You understand what I say? And Bojo also feel like the government sell out the people in big time, you see me? But Bojo never stopped there, so he also posted a caption saying, man chat, and him go on to say, you people will pay a heavy price for your ignorance. You see me? So I make them know, say, them definitely will pay a heavy price and him go on for say the trolls are very active this is a progressive page go to where you hear what you want to hear too much traitors among us so of course Bojo Bantana tell the people who not agree with what he is saying say only can go on some other pages if you don't want to hear what you don't want to hear this page is a progressive page a progress we deal with over here so you see me so Futa Hype jump in at the comment section and say fox you see so obviously Futa Hype agrees with what Bojo Bantan is saying and is making it clear that he is speaking strictly fox you see my people and I I agree with what Bojo Bantan is saying um, I say I always agree with him, but this time I agree with every single thing that he's saying. You know what I say? Can't really force certain things upon the people. Eh? I don't really have a problem with, you know, people are wearing masks and social distancing and them little things. But you see, when it comes to the vaccine, I feel like said that's supposed to be like a personal choice. But as I say, we can't see where they say no face to face class unless the kids them take it. And boy, oh boy, people. I don't know about let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Shakari Richards' zine people. So yesterday an article was posted by the Jamaica Gleaner, I believe. Basically Shakari Richards was being offered a vacation to Jamaica. And basically it was at Montego Bay. You see me? One of the owners them basically reached out to her and say, you know, you can come here, come stay for a week and this and that. Now of course a lot of Jamaicans got into their feelings because they must say, look, I bet you give our junior athletes that offer rather than giving it to her. You see what I say? Well, if people did a cussing in the comment section, as I say, now Shakari Richardson, obviously, people would have tag her and thing and thing. So she actually saw the offer that was being made to her. And yes, people, she reject the offer. You see me? Now she never disrespect the person or anything like that. Or she never disrespect Jamaica or anything like that. You see me, people? Now basically, she put up a post where she was on a bamboo raft. And basically, she said, been there, done that. You see me, people? And she also put up a next post. You can see it on the screen. And you can see that she was at a place called Couples Tower Isle Resort in Jamaica. You see me? And she said, loved it. So obviously, the been there, done that caption would have let you know that she's not accepting the offer. You see me, people? Now, basically, still, you know, I kind of feel like she's a bit salty, same way, because the person never asked her if she come to Jamaica already, you know. They were just offering her a vacation. You see me? She could have said something 
male she never have to say been there done that it still seem a bit cocky to me still you see me me not know people let me know what you guys think maybe me analyze this thing too much you see me but it still seem like she's a bit hurt uh, maybe she's afraid to come to Jamaica because she might get beat up <laughs> I joke me I make but me not know people let me know what you guys think about this Shakari Richardson will not be accepting that vacation that was offered to her in Montego Bay you see me so now we're going to talk about Russian losing his father and Ramesh actually reaching out to him you see me people now before me even get into it I want to say condolences to Russian and his family you understand me I say people and like I always say it is never easy to lose a loved one you see me whether it be a mother father are a close friend so my condolences sir so russian basically posted up some photos and a video of his father right and basically in the caption he said daddy i love you you were the best i could ever ask for i will miss those phone calls from you telling me to buy candles for the hurricanes i learned all my good traits from you and wish to be more like you the simplest person i know the most humble and most connected to earth you were 25 years plus ahead of everything from raising me a vegetarian to preaching about solar houses and electric cars i wouldn't be who i am today without you and him put some crying emojis you influenced me musically and gave me tough love but the right love i needed to go and get it myself without help the right support mentally there isn't enough tears for how i feel with some broken heart and some more crying emojis you are the strongest man i know i saw you lose my brother a few years ago and that was the first time i ever seen you down but to lose you now so unexpected has killed me inside i know you would want me to cherish our good moments but it's not as easy as they said thank you for being by my mommy 50 years now i will try and fill your footsteps i will share your words to everyone for your latest release swipe to read words from my dad these words will explain the type of man he was heart 81 is him and people so i guess he was 81 years of age and people just by the caption you can tell that russian is definitely going through a tough tough time is him so i wouldn't mind if you don't leave some kind words if you, you don't have to leave the kind words if you don't want but you know that would be nice is him because we are sending out some positive energy towards russian right about now and also his family you understand people so ramish made a post on his instagram status basically sending some kind words to russian is him people so him say keep strong my brother at russian is it so ramish i make him know same for keep strong and stay strong even though we know it's easier to be said you know especially when you're not in the person's shoes but we're pretty sure ramish understand how him feel his own master people car we all know how it feel for lose a loved one is it me one of the worst feeling ever so yes people leave some nice comments as me say some positive comments for our russian in the comment section so now we're going to talk about massacre people yes massacre went live last night i met the fans them know so the album still a forward of course a lot of persons been leaving certain comments on the massacre's page or post them you know asking for the album and thing is me so massacre does a talk to the fans them and i met them know so the album done you understand now some people feel like say the reason why massacre not dropped the album yet are because him free the album are gonna flop and him also well <laughs> him not really get no bag of support you understand me and say no now, will the album flop? I don't know what to say, people. You see me? We see where certain and certain albums never did as well as we expected. You see me? I say? So I don't know what to say about Massacre's album. But regardless, if I make the people them know say the album there or the album ready, but him also want the people them for go out there and support it. Him want them for go out there and buy the album since them are asked about it. You see it, people? So let's get into this Instagram live so you can hear what Massacre has to say. You see me, people? So listen to this. The curfew and let up my people them. People, they want to go in there road, go fuck it up, you know? Yeah. No, you think the album is forward, you just stop worrying yourself. Just make sure you buy the album, you know? Make sure you push up the credit card, them, yeah? All I want about the album. Just make sure you don't have any credit card, them, push them up, so. You know what I mean? They support the thing, you know? You don't know the greatness take time, man. You see it, all done a done long time. All right, to be honest, in a real life. <laughs> this is so we that. <laughs> so, here we are going. You see, to be honest, we have enough songs to drop like about six albums in a real life. Like, real life. Like, six albums. Six, seven albums. Album. record every day. We don't do nothing else. You never see me a party. You don't see me I do nothing else. I do not do nothing else I make music, you see it? So, 
songs is not the issue, we just try to go Epic body at work because of the first album, you know what I mean? Yeah man, so I can make you know so if you get the credit card them ready and make sure you're ready for swipe and just purchase the album, you see me? And that's the thing I can take with some of the fans them in Ozean. Them ask you about albums, them make the comments them on this and that and when you drop the album, them now buy it. You see me? You don't have to make up on your mind. You see, you don't want the album. So you can get for buy it or you don't want the album. You see? But I can wait and see no people. The album, we don't really get a release date yet. I don't even think him actually put out a track list as yet. You see? But when it forward, it forward. You see my people? But leave some comments in the comment section and let me know where you think about this. So now we're going to talk about Dexter Daps responding to what Bounty Killer said about him. You see my people? Now, basically, Bounty Killer did an interview with Anthony Miller. I talked about it yesterday. And Basically, Bounty said that Dexter Daps will be the next global superstar, you see me, as in the next big thing from out of Jamaica. And a lot of persons seem to agree with him and thing and thing, you understand? Now, Dexter Daps goes up and reposted an article that says that, you know, he might be the next superstar, says Bounty Killer. And in the caption, he say, the God at Bounty Killer said it, best believe we shall raise eyebrows. What are your thoughts? So obviously, you know, Dexter Daps, him feel confidence and him say, yeah man, we are going to raise eyebrows about you, you know. You see what I'm saying? And him also ask the people him what is their thoughts on Bounty Killer saying that. And basically, um, somebody say, yo, them did need Bounty to tell them that I knew from morning. So this person I say, yo, me never really need Bounty to make me know say you're the next superstar from Jamaica, you know. I already know that long time. You see my people? Um... Well, if a female a comment, me I tell you, say it's like a yo, the woman them love Dexter Dab still, you know. So, anyway, um, my next person say you're humble and hardworking, so you must reach my brother. And the next person left a comment saying, You already well on your way there. So, when you can see the comments, a lot of persons feel like say Dexter Dabs and him way for being that global superstar, you see me? Bounty Killer also made a next post saying, Just watch, without favoritism, just realism. So, Bounty, I make you know, say a foxy attack, it have nothing to do with Dexter Dabs, maybe being his favorite artist or anything like that. He's just being real, you see me, people? So, Dexter Dabs react to it. And Dexter Dabs big up Bounty Killer for your game, that strength is one mass of people. So leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. So people, I'm going to leave you know, with a video with Baby Sham or Sham basically I send some words or some warning to the government, but he might do it in a song. You see what I'm saying? Of course, you know, say Baby Sham, powerful artist, and you don't know, say them man, they, you know, him like to speak in mind and thing and thing. You see my people? So that's the video I'm going to leave you know, with. But before I do that, make sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And also turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when my drop a new video is my people bless upon yourself thanks for the support i'm out nobody can tell me stop it when me rise it and i clap it cause gas did raise and them did promise and i drop it cause true we are cool them think i forgot we forgot it we love we little island and we now make we no flap it cause can't afford for pay my light them come and chop it cause government give them the rights when them did swap it cause them did have to cover up them little rocket imagine that i go on and the opposition a back it cause me here's a phone bill i go raise the one that tap it cause them not see what out for go on them better scrap it cause the youths them hungry so them rise it and a pop it them not believe the promises and lies when you know yap it cause right you know you met the kids them all a lock it cause to all the place I run you know man have to knock it cause you see the problem and nobody now attack it When you sit down in a parliament and full up on a pocket cars You not have to answer to nobody when you act it cars You think the people afraid for go a road go block it cars Think I know the country keep back and I watch it A whole boy want for whole your Mr. Ty and Mr. Jacket cars You borrow money for the people and go cash it cars You want for send it go to Switzerland go stash it cars Everything the people try for do you bash it The works where you perform are just some serious youths and Mash it cars. We have to protect our own so man has chop it cars. Crime is rising and no one no want to stop it cars. When shot a bus are we alone and skip and up it. Rising mighty people make them sit say we are mop it cause them can't tell me stop it.